Hey guys, welcome to Epcot. Hope you guys are staying at home safe and fighting COVID-19 by social distancing and following the guideline of the health authorities, right? So with that reminder, let's start GraphQL Spring Boot 101 series. This is part 7. In this part, we are discussing about GraphQL pagination. Okay guys, so first let's discuss about pagination. So what is pagination? Uh, think about scenario that we have a lot of data and we need to show portion of them at a time, right? So it's about pagination. So if we consider the pagination uh, UX, we have numbered pages as you can see in the Google. We have a set of pages. We can go uh, to particular page we desire, right? same as that we have sequential pages uh, simi it is similar to the numbered pages but we have only next button right so we can move to next and previous pages by clicking next and previous right and if you consider infinite scroll we can see that in very often in social media like facebook twitter instagram and so on right so under the hood in this infinite scroll it's also doing a uh, fetching data uh, that's a portion of data so if you keep continuing scrolling it will fetch more data so that's about the pagination UXs we have so let's consider about the implementation of this uh, pagination UXs right so under the hood we have two approaches uh, first one is limit offset pagination second one is the cursor based pagination so Limit of set pagination is uh, somewhat traditional and we can implement it in this SQL. If you consider the SQL query, it's like select these things from the books order by publish date and we need to train uh, that is said by uh, specified by limit and we have offset of 20. That means we start from 20th index and we need to get 10 books, right? So if we can convert that into paste. Uh, methodology we have limit parameter and offset parameter to get those data right this there's nothing wrong with this implementation but uh, but cursor based pagination is more powerful and basically we have cursor to item and we can get cursor and cursors to uh, indexes to uh, basically points to other uh, data right so we need to implement cursor based pagination in GraphQL if you are using Relay on the front end, right? Relay libraries. So, we'll discuss about that on la in later video. But here, uh, basically, uh, we need cursor based pagination. Uh, specifically, we are using, if we are using Relay library on the front end. But there is no uh, restriction that you can't use limit offset pagination it's up to you it's up to application context and we can choose uh, either of them uh, to implement the pagination so I'm not going to implement limit offset pagination in this tutorial but cursor based pagination because it's somewhat difficult to implement right so and also we need some additional uh, knowledge about cursor based pagination uh, additional concepts few concepts right so if we consider the implementation in GraphQL we can show limits of set pagination like this we have skip and first parameters we can pass the, those two and get the data but in cursor based pagination we have something different we have edges we have cursor and we have node and about page info right so if we consider connection it's paginated field on an object for example the author's field on a book or the comments fields on a blog post right so if we consider edge edge is a object one edge is an object in the paginated list right so it also includes a cursor uh, so we can identify where the pagination start from so for the that object right for the edge uh, and if we consider the node, uh, edge has a node, right? So it is the actual object, right? We are looking for. So inside that one, uh, we can have connections, right? 
that's the order so also there should be a page info uh, at the we have set of pages then we have page info uh, it specifies what we have for the next page uh, it has specified which is the query has a page the next page to fetch has a previous page to fix fetch and what is the start and end cursor right okay guys this is the relay library i was talking about right so it's a production ready graphql client for react right so if you're using this one you have to implement cursor based pagination in the server side right so here we have graphql curse connection specification according to the relay library right so we have their connection type page types arguments and page info so i invite you to have a look at here so you can better understand the concept behind the pagination in the graphql right so they have also implement uh, specify the pseudo code for the algorithm pagination algorithm and also for the fields of the page info right so let's look at how to implement this thing in the back end uh, already we are using java kickstart graphql project so they have a documentation about relay so uh, this is the page of their documentation right so as you can see they have say that uh, if we have we have a user's query which support cursor we should have user connection object as we discussed earlier right and it has a user edge and it's another type right so also it has a page info uh, that should be a, another type and user right so if we look at this we have several objects to implement right we need user connection type, user edge type and page info type right same as for next types if we implement the cursor based pagination for those things right so this is kind of a duplication of the types and uh, add some overhead right so in the java kickstart project they, in the java graph ql tools library contains a very easy way to do this right so uh, they have this at connection annotation custom annotation and we can specify user connection by having this annotation and specifying what is the type this connection refers to right so also it generates a user edge uh, by looking at this user and appending edge thing right so and also it creates a page info object right so we don't have to repeat these things again and again so let's look at the code how to implement this one in the code side okay guys i'm back in the graphql backend application right so let's write the books query which supports the pagination right so i'm going to type books then we should have the first parameter right it's a type of int and after parameter it's type of string right so this returns a book connection and we should use the connection at connection annotation and specify for attribute it's for book right so this is only thing we need to do in the graphql schema side right so uh, next uh, because uh, this book connection type is generated by graphql java tool and a type and also the page info object right so what we have doing to do in the graphql query solver we should write the method to map this query right so this query is returning a connection which comes from the graphql relay package and it returns a book right so method name is books and we should have the uh, first and the after parameters right now we should have the data fetching environment right 
next we need to get the list of books from the repository so let's use the find all method to get all the books from the repository right now we can return sim new simple list connection right and we of books and we can pass the env here and we are good to go right so we can run the application and see okay guys application has now started so let's run the query so i have the uh, query here which is not having any parameters right so these are not required for this query basically this get all the things uh, from the query right we have edges uh, edges is the book connection type right it has cursor and not not this the book so we can also ask for the authors if we want right and the page info is having as next page has previous page and start and end cursors right so let's hit the end point and okay so we got the list of uh, edges because uh, of books right so we have three books and each of the, them having a note of books right uh, that represent the book and cursor for that book right so we have three of them and if we look at page info we don't have a previous page and next page and but we have start and end cursors right so this is the basic query now we can paginate using these parameters right so if we look at the paginated per, uh, query we have first after and first after this is specified like this so this is the uh, cursor of the second object right if we look at cursor of the second object so basically we should get the last object on right last, first and last second and last object right so uh, this is the uh, earlier i was trying this out and so let's look at this one again okay so we got the data and it also only returns the uh, last item right so this is how you can implement the cursor based pagination using java's java graphql kickstart project right and spring boot that's it for today guys so we'll meet with another episode of the graphql series and thanks for watching and be safe and fight covid 19 so thanks for watching guys bye bye happy coding